to the next video. In this video, I will show you how to draw a graph of a linear polynomial. What do you mean by linear polynomial? A linear polynomial is the one whose degree is 1. So here my equation is y is equal to 2x minus y. What is the degree of x? The degree of x is 1. So now we will learn how to draw the graph of y is equal to 2x minus y. So before plotting the graph, you need points x and y. So how to draw the points? I will tell you now. So we have to substitute different values of x in this equation in order to find out the graph. So I will take, I can take any points. Here I will take for x is equals to minus 1 first. I will substitute in this equation. So y will become, when I substitute x, 2 into minus 1 minus 5. So y is equals to 2 ones are 2 and minus into plus is minus. So minus 2 minus 5. Now both are minus, I need to add. So 2 plus 5 is 7. So y is equals to minus 7. So what did I get? When I substitute x is equals to minus 1, I got y is equals to minus 7. Now I can substitute x is equals to 0. You can choose any of the points according to your wish. So when I substitute x is equals to 0 in this equation of y, y is equals to 2 into, in place of x, substitute 0. So 2 into 0 minus 5. So y is equals to 2 zeros are 0. So 0 minus 5. What is 0 minus 5? 0 minus 5 is minus 5. So when x is 0, y is minus 5. Now I will substitute for x is equals to 1. Okay, that is a positive value. I have taken here a negative value. I have taken here a 0. Now I will take positive value. So again I will substitute 1 in this equation of y. So y is equals to 2 into 1 minus 5. y is equals to 2 1s are 2. 2 minus 5. What is minus 5 and plus 2? Minus 5 and plus 2 means you have to subtract. So 5 minus 2 is 3 and bigger number sign is minus. So y is equals to minus 3. So when x is 1, y is minus 3. I will take one more point for x is equals to 2. So again substitute x is equals to 2 in this equation of y. So y is equals to 2 into 2 minus 5. y is equals to 2 2 is a 4 minus 5. Now again I need to subtract because minus 5 and plus 4 means subtract. That is minus 1 because bigger number sign between 5 and 4 is 5. So minus 1. So when x is 2, y is minus 1. Now I got 4 points. If you observe, x is equals to minus 1, x is equals to 0, x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 2. So put all those points in the table. So in my table I will have the first row will be x, the second row will be y and the third row will be the x comma y. So substitute when x is minus 1. What is y? y is minus 7. When x is 0, what did I get? y is minus 5. So, and when x is 1, what did I get? minus 3. And when x is 2, I got y is minus 1. So, write the points. Here, x is minus 1, y is minus 7. Here, x is 0, y is minus 5. Here, x is 1, y is 3. Here, x is 2 y is minus 1. Now close this box. Now as I got the points x comma y, 4 points I got. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I can plot the graph. Okay. So how to plot the graph? Here what I will do is I will keep, keep these points into. Okay. Now see these x axis points minus 1, 0, 1, 2. All these are very small points. 0, 1, 2 and here I have minus 1. And see the y axis points minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1. All are negative. So I need all the negative numbers. And here the greatest number is minus 7. So I need till minus 8. So as the numbers are very small. 1, 2, 3 and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. I can take the scale as 1 unit is equals to 1 centimeter. Okay. On both x axis and y axis. Now I will draw the points of x axis. Here I have 1, 2, 3. I will take only till 3. Why? Because here I have only till plus 2. Now here also I will take <coughs> minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 now what about y axis i have i have till minus 7 so i will take till minus 8 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 as i don't have any of the positive points in my table i will just take till 4 so 1 2 3 4 now let's start for plotting the points the first point is when x is minus 1 y is minus 7 so x, y. So when x is minus 1 means here. x is minus 1, y is minus 7. This is a point. 
when x is minus 1, y is minus 1. Write the point there after marking. Then second point is when x is 0, y is minus 5. So 0 comma minus 5 is my point. So x is 0 means obviously the point will lie on the y axis. Okay. So x is 0, y is minus 5. So on the y axis, here is my minus 5. So when x is 0, y is minus 5. Now the third point is when x is 1, y is minus 3. So when x is 1, y is minus 3. This is the point. 1 comma minus 3. Fourth point is when x is 2, y is minus 1. So when x is 2, y is minus 1. Here is the point. 2 comma minus 1. Now as the equation is a linear polynomial, it is <clears throat> on the, uh, it, the as the degree is 1 and as the equation is linear polynomial it will have 1 0 and the graph should be a linear polynomial uh, the graph should be a straight line always remember in a linear polynomial the graph has to be a straight line so I will join all the points I am getting a straight line it means that my equation is correct join the points very carefully okay Extend it in such a way that it should compulsorily meet the x-axis because how to get the zero of the polynomial? In order to get the zero of the polynomial, always the point should meet the x-axis. So here my point is meeting, which is what? If I see 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. So here my zero of the polynomial y is equals to 2x minus 5 is what is x coordinate? 2.5. What is co y coordinate? 0. Why it is 0? Because the point lies on the x axis, the y coordinate is 0. So my 0 y is equals to 2x minus 5 is 2.5 comma 0. Now always remember on the graph write the equation. So my equation is y is equals to 2x minus 5. Now what I will do is I will verify whether the 0 I am getting is correct or not. So verification. How to do verification? For verification, as here, uh, if I observe y is equals to 2x minus 5, as the line is meeting on the x-axis, my y, y will be 0 as it is meeting on the x-axis. So in y is equals to 2x minus 5, I will substitute y is 0. Why? Because uh, the equation is basically of x-axis. That is, this is a polynomial which is nothing but 2x minus 5. That is why y is 0 I will substitute. So 0 is equals to 2x minus 5. Now, this is if you observe, it is of the form of a, a variable algebraic equation where variables, if you take on one side, numbers can be on another side, and you will get the value of x. So, what I will do is I will send this 2x that side. So it becomes minus 2x is equals to minus 5. Now, minus minus will get cancelled on both sides. You are left with x is equals to 5 by 2. What is 5 by 2? Divide 2 2 is a 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Put a point, bring down 0, 2 5 is a 10. So I am getting 2.5. So 5 by 2 is 2.5. So x is equals to 2.5. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct because in the graph also I got 0 of p of x y is equals to 2x minus 5 is 2.5. So x is equals to 2.5 is my 0 of a polynomial. Like that you can verify in any graph. So just uh, see this graph and uh, hope you have understood. If you have any doubt, you can comment below. Please like the video and share with your friends. Thank you.